Welcome all. A few months ago uh, I started a journey uh, looking for a uh, replacement tripod for my venerable Manfrotto that I've had for 20 odd years now. Uh, mainly because uh, it only has a 7 kilo load rating and with my uh, expanding rig, uh, fluid head and so forth, uh, that's all coming up to a weight of 12 plus kilos nowadays and uh, I was feeling a little bit uh, unsure and uncomfortable with uh, having such a low rated tripod for such a heavy uh, rig. So I uh, started looking around for some replacements, something that at least 15 kilo capacity, uh, but uh, I was really sort of disappointed in uh, what was available, uh, especially within the price bracket that I was looking at, and uh, a lot of that stuff looked uh, very, very flimsy, and uh, honestly I just didn't trust uh, buying something like that. So. By happenstance, I came across a brand that I hadn't heard of before called Leo Photo. I uh, found a few reviews on it, and uh, all of them were pretty good, um, though not always uh, sort of the best reviews that I've seen. Not that I'm saying my reviews are any better, but uh, anyway, after looking at that and, uh, and finding their websites, I had a closer look at uh, what the product was all about and uh, so forth, and the features. And uh, on a punt, I uh, put in an order. I got a pretty good deal over eBay, so uh, two weeks ago I received it and I was very pleasantly surprised. It's an absolutely fantastic tripod. The quality, the fit finish and the features are simply outstanding. Uh, it's a carbon fibre tripod uh, rated for 50 kilos, way over what I actually really needed but uh, having uh, more is always better and uh, the thing about it is, is that uh, while it weighs 3.3 kilos it can carry 50 kilos and compare that to the Manfrotto of mine which weighs 2.3 kilos and can only hold 7 kilos it just shows what you can get with carbon fibre so uh, it's quite a good uh, I think with uh, tripods and also fluid heads is important is that if something like that should happen there shouldn't be any uh, hazard or danger of the thing toppling over the Manfrotto uh, because of its uh, diminutive size compared to the, uh, the Leo photo, I couldn't trust it ever to uh, have doing that so I was always very very careful that uh, everything was fully secure and uh, no little accidents happened that could cause it to topple over and take the, uh, the rig with it. So uh, this thing um, is as sturdy as a rock. Um, the other feature about it is that it also will open up to 1.9 uh, metres, just a fraction over. So that's a pretty uh, significant height and at the 200mm uh, uh, or 8 inches of the uh, fluid head and you're up uh, virtually the ceiling height uh, of uh, common houses and so forth. Uh, that might be a bit of overkill but uh, I can see that uh, there's big occasions uh, while I'm at bush where I can take advantage of uh, that extra height uh, and take uh, video and so forth uh, from up high down onto our campsites and other places. So it's almost like having a, uh, a low level flying drone. Uh, because of the height that it can take, so I think that's uh, not too bad. So I'll just talk about some of the features of the uh, the tripod, but without going into a great amount of detail. This is uh, really a preview uh, because I can't sort of give any definitive statements about how uh, well it'll handle in the long term. That's going to come uh, uh, early in the year when I go out bush and uh, able to actually put it to uh, some serious use. And I'm not going to go into a lot of detail about the actual fine details here. You can go onto the website and actually see some uh, uh, pretty photos and things like that uh, of uh, the details of the tripod uh, itself. Um, uh, I just want to sort of give an overall view of uh, what I think about it and uh, uh, some of the features that I think are actually uh, really, really good uh, when it comes to this sort of tripod. The first thing is, uh, which is quite common to most video tripods, is the ability to pull the, uh, the actual uh, plate off the, uh, the, the tripod itself. There's a big hollow in there. I plan to get a uh, levelling ball for this uh, so I can use it properly with the video uh, head so I don't have to uh, adjust the, uh, the tripod via the legs. But uh, the thing that you can do with this is that if you happen to be a dual purpose user, say a photographer as well as a videographer, you can use the, uh, the flat head here, uh, attach a gimbal and so forth and use it for, uh, for wildlife photography like birding and that if you use a long lens, rather than then undoing things all the time, you can have one dedicated to a, yeah, say a gimbal and the other one dedicated to the fluid head. And it just clips in, locks in, beautiful, so easy to use. The other feature I like about it is the fact that uh, it has these very simple levers that uh, lock and unlock the uh, leg itself uh, compared to the, uh, the, the spring-loaded levers on the Manfrotto, which aren't too bad, but because this is such a uh, tight leg uh, system, um, this sort of thing uh, it makes it easier to hold. You don't have to have your finger on there and then trying to pull the, uh, the legs out because they are quite stiff. And the beauty of this thing is you can actually get the legs out parallel to the ground so you can get this tripod right on the ground uh, for very low level shots so that's pretty good itself. 
The thing that I was worried about were the uh, the grips, um, the lock levers. My Gitzo that I used to have uh, was, uh, my view, pretty pathetic. Um, no matter how tight I tried to put them, um, they just would always slip. I uh, very nearly lost the camera setup uh, one day with it, which prompted me to buy uh, the Manfrotto that I've now got. Uh, but these ones are certainly very, very good. You don't need to do a twist them uh, too hard. About a third or so turn and uh, they lock and unlock and they just slide in and out really, really well. So that's a good feature and I think maybe with carbon fibre that's essential because the clamps uh, might uh, have a tendency to crush the uh, carbon fibre which is what you don't want um, and perhaps uh, the design has already uh, also improved over the years from the Gitso that I had. So that's uh, sort of some of the features uh, of the tripod. Um, there's nothing really much more to say other than that it is a very, very solid tripod. It has a good feel to it. Um, the weight is not uh, too much as far as I'm concerned. Some may balk at that, uh, but I like a little bit of heft, especially when the camera rig on top is uh, fairly heavy in itself. The minor quibbles that I have with it, um, I wish that it actually had to come with the rubber grips on all legs, but I believe uh, Leo Photo is uh, going to bring out some accessory grips that you can put on, which is a good thing. Not only does it make it easy to handle because the uh, carbon fibre is actually quite slippery, but uh, it gives you positive uh, grip and protection for the, uh, the, the legs as well. So I think that's a good thing. The, uh, the other feature that uh, I think is a little bit uh, lacking in design is when you close the legs up, they can very easily cross over. And uh, maybe with time when you start getting used to doing that, um, you sort of uh, learn how to close them up. But uh, it would have been, I think, a very simple uh, design process to just put some sort of a uh, detent or whatever into the base so that the legs could only go so far when you close them up and that would mean that they'd also close up evenly um, rather than crossing over. So that's a minor thing um, but I'm just surprised that that uh, hadn't been thought of when they actually designed the tripod. The other thing that I think is uh, quite uh, superb about this is the carry bag. Now that's the bag, it's pretty well padded. Um, it's uh, nothing unusual as far as bags go. I've seen very similar ones around the traps. Um, it opens up either from the top or, uh, or along the uh, length of the uh, bag. But what is really good about this, and I'm not too sure how common this is, is the fact that I can put the tripod with the fluid head into the bag and uh, it all seals up. Uh, no camera bag or virtually any other bag that I've ever had for products will allow you to attach something to the product itself and then all fit into the one bag. So this is fantastic. It's a really good uh, um, thought that uh, Leo Photo had and whether any other companies emulate that, kudos to them because uh, that makes it great. You can just chuck it into the bag, throw it in the back of the car and when you want to use it, it's all, all put together. You don't have to worry about uh, assembling anything uh, or finding, for that matter, any bags for the fluid head and so forth. So that minimises a lot of hassle. So really, that's the uh, extent of uh, the preview that I want to do on this uh, tripod. If you're thinking about getting a new tripod, something a bit more substantial, and you'd like to get carbon fibre, give the Leo uh, photo uh, a thought. They have a, quite a range of tripods available now. This is the biggest of their unit. Um, but uh, the pricing is excellent. Uh, it varies a fair bit, so I haven't put a uh, price up for, for this. Um, I managed to get a good bargain on eBay for it, so uh, I'm very, very happy with what I paid for it. Um, but it is equal to the, uh, the big uh, name brand uh, tripods, uh, but priced well, well below that. So I don't think you'd be disappointed if you were to get your hands on one of these if you're looking for a new tripod. So give it some thought. Um, hopefully the word will get around and uh, more people will be able to give reviews and so on on these tripods, because I do think uh, they deserve uh, some sort of recognition uh, for what they're providing. But uh, that's it for the moment and uh, I'll uh, bring an update sometime uh, in the new year and uh, just let you know exactly how well the uh, tripod has performed in uh, more uh, arduous conditions. Cheers.